Okay, I'm gonna be talking about this piece of equipment, this contraption that looks some sort of a medieval weapon or something, but it's actually a T-square. And I'm gonna show you how to use it. And just a, just a word about, regarding the T-square. Obviously, this is for drawing horizontal lines. With a regular semester, I would highly suggest you purchase the parallel rule with the cables rather than this. The parallel rule is just a lot more efficient. You can draw horizontal lines much quicker than this. This will do the job, however, this is good if you're just drawing um, just a few lines. I think this is perfectly fine for that, but this will be a lot more cumbersome to move as I will demonstrate in a minute. Um, so that's it. So let's go to the board. So the T-square that I'm using is a 24 inch T-square. I come in different sizes and obviously they are longer ones. The longer they get, it's just harder to move. Oh, so. It just depends on what paper sizes that you are planning on using. Um, so I think between 24 to I think maybe a 30 would be a good size. T-square actually comes in different types of construction, meaning different materials. This is a metal one, obviously, and they actually have ones that are made out of acrylic. Normally, I like the acrylic version because personally, I like to draft or draw with the acrylic edge rather than a metal edge, but I couldn't find one. With the metal edge, you can draw lines as well as you can use the edge to as a cutting edge, which is multi-purpose, which is a good thing. So if you don't want to buy, let's say, a metal edge for your model making, you can substitute um, this with a T-square. However, I do recommend you buying a separate straight edge with a cork or some sort of a backing so then it doesn't slip. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to draw some lines uh, using a T-square. T-square is, is comprised of two components. This, the, this part is called the blade is where you actually draw your lines. And then this part is called the stock or the head. So what I have right now is I have a piece of tracing paper mounted onto a board. Actually, there is a piece of Borco underneath this piece of tracing paper. This Borco is essentially a vinyl. It kind of protects the board. It, and also, more importantly, it just makes the drawing experience much better. And you're, you are less prone to breaking your legs. So I'm just using a regular mechanical pencil. The key to drawing using a T-square is make sure that your stock or the head is firmly pressed up against your table. So the whole time what I'm doing is I am literally using my left hand. I'm a righty, so my left hand is holding the stock as I am drawing my line. So as you can see, I'm holding this part very tightly. So then, so, so it doesn't wobble like that. So that's how you kind of draw horizontal lines using this and press up against the stock. And same thing if you want to use, do vertical lines. So you kind of line things up again, press up against it. It's a little bit more tricky because now you have to kind of hold on to your, to the blade as well as the, the triangle. All right, make sure again, press up against. All right, so that's pretty much it. So you just have to be more careful of using a T-square because you almost always have to check every time you do a line that the stock is pressed firmly up against the table. And you know, versus a, a parallel rule that has cables, it's automatically, you know, you can just glide up and down. But of course, this is a lot more economical and you can take this with you. Or one more thing regarding uh, T-square or, or just drawing a horizontal line. Just like in a parallel rule, you don't draw bottom or, or using the bottom of the blade, you always use the top, top of the blade. And regarding, the placement of the paper, you want the, the blade to be parallel to the edge of the paper, meaning the bottom edge of the paper. There's a separate video where I show you how to set up a piece of paper 
So you can go to that video and take a look at that. Well, that's it.